Right, let's give it some gas here. Wow, well, she moves. Let's put up the window. Afternoon, everybody welcome back to peter's auto Hope hope everybody's having a fantastic day today today we're going to get behind the wheel of this beautiful 2022 ram 2500 power wagon now i'm very excited to get behind the wheel of one of these because i've never been able to drive this very unique truck from ram now guys when i first before we go on i'm going to give a big shout out to Bartow ford for allowing me to drive their competition uh this is beautiful uh just slightly used uh 2022 ram power wagon this has only got 7500 miles on it just to blow it they're asking just about six just under 60 six thousand dollars for this uh beautiful truck now this power wagon is not fully equipped obviously it's like a lower level one uh, equipment but uh you know they, they start off about sixty four thousand uh, dollars msrp from the factory so this is not basically right up there with basically the msrp price but a big thank you to Bartow for again that was basically a ram power wagon it's basically the most capable you know kind of focused off-road heavy duty truck you can get from ram the power wagon is very unique because there really wasn't anything like it i mean ford did not offer anything not until recently that Ford uh, introduced a tremor package for the for their heavy duties and Chevy doesn't really have anything kind of particular maybe not even close to what the C71 is packaged on that I know Chevy's working on something maybe a CR2 version of their heavy duties but that's still yet to come but obviously Ram was the only one or Dodge before that was the only one that offered off-road capable heavy duty truck now of course guys the power wagon name has been with us since the late 40s all the way up to like the late 70s that before when the Ram obviously was before it was known as a Dodge power wagon now of course Ram came its own uh, you know some company now this was uh, the power wagon was reintroduced in 2005 and of course this is the fifth generation Dodge Ram this is what this was basically redesigned for 2019 that's what we see nice in front of us and of course this is the latest and greatest power wagon now this one that we have here guys it's only available uh, basically in our crew cab 4x4 with a six foot four inch bed now this is the only way you can put the power wagon there you can get, can I get it in a shorter version or a longer bed this is basically the only way you can get it and the only engine you can get right now with the with this power wagon is the 6.4 liter hemi v8 take a look uh, around guys really cool unique truck this one is done in a right white with the two-tone uh what they call diamond black two-tone paint here as you can see it's really cool the way this is obviously we got the black here on the bottom with a little line here as you can see guys and it really goes well with the power wagon decal as you can see uh this power wagon decal is kind of uh kind of goes back to the older tradition where back in the 70s they called the, the macho power which gives you all these kind of decals and very showy truck this is kind of where, where this kind of comes from so it's very unique to this kind of this power wagons and all these decals and the way this kind of looks really cool the, all the way the wheels and everything is really awesome the way this two-tone paint works especially in the white of course we got all the plastic finish here that work excellent with the horse of black paint of course you got the 33s here we'll talk about it in a few moments paint continues here to the back as you can see all the black pop basically painted on the black metal tape bumper here in the back of course also the emblem the ram emblem the power wagon everything's done in black as you can see guys really cool the way ram puts all this together coming around here taking a walk around here now this one is since it's like you use guys today they tint the windows there's got a, some pretty dark tint on this one uh but it doesn't look it looks really good of course with, with the white now of course here we have a side step here that's uh basically i think it's a ram does offer basically as an option the, this the steps here as you can see or also a rock slider as well uh, the rock slider kind of is more tucked into the body this one here is basically an option now this does say weston now i don't know if that's the ones that ram uses but i believe it's very similar to what ram offers as an option for this uh power wagons now as you can see guys big mirrors here as you can see on the side really cool the way it is now coming around here in the front of course this plane does really go as well of course we got a black and decal here on top as well top of the huge really nice dome the way this is the the, the hood obviously here in the front guys we have what they call the handlebar mustache design of front grille really unique to this ram uh, power wagon 
really cool the way this looks obviously it's all it's all blacked out all my tape black black plastic looking color now of course here in the front i'm going to put in much ten arm of course we got led lighting here in the very front as well we got your daytime running lights here in led and of course we got led uh, headlights we got led fog lights as well really cool the way all this is so of course gonna come in here we got your big huge hooks here for towing now what's also unique about these power buttons that they come standard with a worn 12,000 pound winch which is awesome now this is so new that it hasn't even been used there is a little kit inside as well that kind of connected with a little red flag here as the way the winches you can just connect it here guys it has this is so new that i haven't even used it here obviously we're in florida so you're not gonna you know get in too much trouble here off-roading but this is really cool this is standard that comes with the power wagons which is awesome now as you can see the ram here and a bit of a super lettering really cool the way this tram is just such a cool truck now obviously here in the top we got the marker lights here as you can see we got the little antenna and of course we got the emblems for the 2500 heavy duty the heavy later here the v8 really awesome and of course you got your tow mirrors as well that are pretty big long as well to help you out when you're towing now obviously the power wagon has very unique off-road capabilities now what does that consist of of course all around guys we got built-in off-road twin shocks we got softer springs as well uh that are basically just softer than the regular 2500 now, now this one is also got two inches of higher clearance of course higher two inches higher than the regular 2500 these trucks have 14.2 inches of ground clearance and can go through about 30 inches of water according to ram now of course in the back we also have it's kind of unique because we get over here you guys we kind of might be able to see it but we have a five link suspension here in the bottom and there's also a fifth shock a fifth built-in shock i took some video of it i'll put it in for on the in for you guys here there's a fifth shock as well that kind of go, goes into the control arm here on the back of the axle which is a very unique thing to control the dampening or the hop during acceleration so that's very unique suspension to this ram power wagon and coming up to the front of course you also got heavier bigger axles you got a lot of reinforced stuff that you can that you know, Rand gives it coming here to the front we also have basically a three link front suspension which is very unique as well this also has a disconnecting front sway bar which is unique to this model for does not offer a front disconnecting sway bar so and this also has locking the front and rear live axles obviously this got live axles both front and rear are lockable through a electronic switching in the material so this is what basically makes it very unique to this power wagon here so check it out guys we have the Goodyear Wrangler Duratec tire just a 285 millimeter 33s and as you can see guys we got the built-in shock to the heavy duty springs and of course these are the three link suspension here with the disconnecting sway right here for the front that's very unique to this model because obviously no Ford no not even Ford offers that in their F250 Tremor so, so you can see guys really awesome the way this truck looks so unique with its decals so unique with this due to the, the way it's designed that's higher lifting now this could use a little bit maybe some 35s on it or maybe some 37s will make, make it look a little more full in the wheel but I don't know if the suspension is capable of that but very unique awesome looking truck now obviously the only competition Chevy doesn't really offer anything in their heavy duty like this I mean the 71 C71 pack does not come close to what this all this, this is in, in terms of off-road capability now Ford introduced their tremor package for the for the heavy duty trucks now obviously what's the difference between this one and the Ford F250 of course the F250 is offered in a diesel this is only has the, the, the gas V8 the Hemi V8 uh, Ford doesn't offer locking front and rear. I think the rear is lockable, but not the front. And of course, Ford does not offer the disconnecting front sway bar. So this is this uh, power wagon is very unique to that, uh, what it's capable of. And a lot of people use it. And obviously this is, you know, really awesome the way it is. It's got a lot of articulation for the front. You know, the suspension is really well tuned for that and uh, a very unique truck that Ram makes. All right, let's go and uh, do a quick review of the engine here. Let's go ahead and pop the hood there and check out what's underneath. Now coming here to the front, you're gonna just slide the latch a little bit to the left here and raise the hood. This has got basically hydraulic shocks. Thank you, Ram, for putting those in because it's gonna be pretty <laughs> pretty difficult to get the hood up. All right, so here we have the 6.4 liter heavy duty Hemi V8. This is producing 410 horsepower, 429 pound feet of torque. I can't even reach to see it. Uh, this is uh, made it to a eight speed automatic CF transmission. And of course, this is going to its four wheel drive system with the two speed transfer case. So it's a really awesome system. Of course, this is the most capable truck. Obviously, they don't offer a diesel yet i mean i don't know if maybe in the in the future ram will offer a diesel or their diesel of course diesel engine but of course obviously ford does it but this is still unique and obviously the v8 that's just like this i drove it has plenty of power really awesome power plant this, that, that this hemi engine is continue let's go ahead and grab the hood here and uh close this engine up 
All right, go. so coming here to the back of this ramp powerway, and guys, here we have the key. We have open close. We got basically remote for your door in the back, and also remote start. And before we open up the bed door here, we got to talk about the the, uh, the tow ratings. Obviously, the tow rating for this one's going to be around 10,500 pounds. I'll put the numbers up for you guys on the screen. That because of the softer springs, this ramp cannot tow as much as a regular 2500. So that's the reason the tow rating is a little bit lower. So let's go ahead, guys, and double click and open up the bed of this ram now this one doesn't have basically the bed convenience package as we call it because obviously i don't see any any lighting and it doesn't have the, the convenience step as well now it does have the spray spraying bed liner as you can see uh most likely it is a factory uh, spraying bed liner we do have a 400 watt converter there as you can see the three prong connection and some hooks as well but that's about it for the back of the bed we do have a window here to open up from the for the back window here and there's no bed uh there's an option of course for a bed uh, camera here, but this one does not option it. This has just got the regular LED or the, basically your basic light from the, from the back does not equip with the cameras. And also the payload capacity for this uh, Ram Power Wagon is about 1300 pounds. I'll put that information for you guys up on the screen considering that it's got also a little bit lower weight considering the suspension as well. So, but there we go guys, here's the bed for this Ram Power Wagon. Let's go ahead and uh, put this up, really easy to do. As you can see, we also have reverse camera here as well. And uh, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the interior of this Dodge Power Wagon. Now, as you can see, guys, really nice. Obviously, we got some harder materials here, but we got a bit of kind of a carbon fiberish look or kind of a white pattern. And uh, pattern is really, really nice. A bit of aluminum there and some more leather. As you can see, it's really, really nice. I love the two tone here. Now, this is a quick, what they call the black grayish two tone interior. Now, this is the base interior of the Power Wagon. As you can see, we got the two tone here, kind of a vinyl, but we also have a cloth insertion here as as well in the middle which kind of represents like a like a, a tired thread pattern which is really cool the way that is really really awesome the way this interior is done now before we go in guys of course here you can see the two-tone leather here in the front for the front seats we got pockets here for both sides we also here have the formats but below the formats we have a little more storage space you can put some drinks or whatever now you want to hide in the back there's also one as well for the other side now over here you can lift the seats up as well if you can lift them up for some more storage space now this does go up as well now we will show you what this now there's some more additional storage Storage space here underneath it, which is really cool. Now this truck's being so new, also uh, part of the, the winch, the little red thing, and all that's still there, wrapped around in some plastic. Over here we got some more sports. This truck is still so new, they're not even used to all that stuff. So this is easy to just to plug in here. Now here, of course, you can lift this up have a little more storage space as you can see which is really awesome if you want to carry some more flat stuff there as well really awesome the way this 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 truck is done bring the seat down really nice you can see guys love the seats and this pattern is really awesome of course here we got a center armrest as well as you can see and uh that's about it guys for this interior your base interior now you can get an optional sunroof as well on this one this was not equipped with it and then this is just a level one group of interior package so, All right, so we're inside of this ram power wagon's interior here in the back it's really nice and roomy even though the seat's quite set back i still got a couple of inches to play here with for my my niece i'm about 5 11. i guess we have a couple of pockets here on both sides really nice the leather feels really nice the leather feels awesome now here in the middle we only have ac outlets uh, there's not really any just a bit of stories there but there's really nothing there are no connections on this one since this is only equipped with a level one package of interior so i'm sure if you get to the higher levels you're going to get some connections here in the back as well all right let's go and check out the driver's side of this power wagon now as you can see really really nice all the way this is kind of like a fiberish kind of come from fiberish looking really nice but it's kind of like a white pattern uh really nice material that they use on that of course we got some leather here a bit of like aluminum of course you got uh consoles here for your windows and mirrors really really nice the way this is quite a bit of pockets here as well for all your things here we got basically a speaker of course here we have coming into this into the cabin we have your step here your modular step here and of course here we got basically the eight-way power seats if i'm correct or 10-way power seats i'll put that information guys on the screen really really nice as i mentioned this has got the the combination of the vinyl and the in the cloth in the middle this is kind of like a tread pattern cloth really nice we got the power wagon also embroidered into the seat which is really nice coming in i guess we do have a power a leather part leather cover steering wheel as you can see we have adjusting pedals we also have a manually adjustable tin tilt and telescope and steering wheel the really nice a little more leather here kind of imitation leather which is really, really nice the way this is typical of ram so let's go ahead guys and uh, jump in all right let's go ahead and turn on this power wagon Get that Hemi V8 going. All right, guys, so getting comfortable inside of this power wagon interior, guys. Before we close the door, let's go ahead and hear that V8, that 6.4 liter Hemi V8. Oh, yeah. Really, really nice sounding V8. I love this Hemi V8. And it's got 7,487 miles, so it's still pretty much a brand new uh, power wagon. So let's go ahead, guys, and uh, close the door. 
I'm gonna drop the interior uh, windows a little bit because it's quite dark in here in this cabin, considering the blacked out or the pretty heavy tint on this one. Now, nice. obviously, this right, is more of a base model. This is a level one package. So obviously, it gives just the very basic of what the power uh, wagon gives you. Now, the visibility is really nice, even though with this windows are kind of tinted dark. As I mentioned, you get an optional uh, sunroof on this one. This one does not have it. Uh, coming to starting up here, guys. Of course, we got lights. We got control here for the rear window there, as you can see. The rear window opens up and up. We got a home link here, as you can see, and we do have a black headliner which is really nice doesn't get dirty and just controls rear windows uh, of course it doesn't have the electronic rear as well this is just our basic base mirror coming here to the bottom guys of course we got a really nice dash layout as you can see of course ram trucks are known for one of the best in the industry of course when it comes into interiors this is no exception even though it's the base model we got a little of that pattern that little of the pattern here for that uh, it's kind of like a fiber, cover fiber ish look to those white pattern really likes to trim on that i have it on camera but we have our 8.4 inch system you connect system from from ram this is really basic it's just, just basically the very base what you can get on this power wagons so of course you can get the bigger 12 inch screen here that's part of the package two or three you can get this is just a level one so coming here go much you got your stereo we got no phone connection as you can see guys we got phone connection you can do uh we have also management and of course all things you can do as well here all kinds of information not very much since this is just a base truck but as i we had one before we do have a backup camera which has excellent graphics as you can see you can press this button to tone down on your hitch there and uh but that's about it this one else have it does have uh basically trajectory lines but the graphics are very clear so it's a very good camera as you can see so coming again guys we got your ac outlets we have another 12 connection here both they finally mentioned that a little more storage page here in the bottom coming here we got your dual uh, glove boxes we have power wagon little logo there which is really really nice you can just press that the logo comes up to just gonna be your upper glove box the lower glove box as you can see really nice even the buckets are still, still wrapped up in their own original packaging this tells you how much how new this truck is or how and really hasn't been used uh, in the bottom here we, of course you got the three prong connection there are more storage space here on the bottom four usb connections of course we got your floor mounted transfer case shifter here as you can see that's basically an option if you want to do it all electronically on a fly you can option up for the electronic uh two kit two speed transfer kits that will be up right up here but this is still nice i like this kind of shifter the kind of old school now of course this is uh could put with the uh, six bench seat or the bench seat as you can see this is raises up you can put your six person in here as well so that's really nice you can see guys we got cup holders here that's holding my phone and my water and if we come here in the middle we got some more storage spaces here and of course we got a usb connection there to connect your phone if you want to leave it inside really nice very nice and leather that you can feel here the seats are really nice i love this pattern the seats are really nice and the visibility is also excellent as well here we have the your dog for your for your gears of course we have also front and rear lockers or just a rear locker we have your axle lock here as you can see we have hill descent and we have to disconnect your front sway bar when you're doing off-roading that's what one of the basically the best things about this power wagon offers you so coming you guys into, into the middle here of course you got a really nice leather cover steering wheel of course we got controls here for your center screen and all that here as well we got here controls here for your gears there's no pedals or anything like that here you can control there's some uh, buttons here in the back that controls basically your your stereo and volume control coming here in the middle of course we got uh digital uh, excuse me uh, analog, analog gauges with a center digital screen here with all kinds of information as you can see guys uh oil live battery voltage you got settings you know all kinds of things that you can do we also have you know uh, miles per hour we have all kinds of settings for off-road angles and all that kind of stuff all the regular stuff that all the rams give you when you're going off-road so this power wagon it's no exception as you can see the power wagon name is right there on the very top of this uh, oh, uh, cluster so really for a way. test drive now before we go on let's, let's put it on drive and check out and put it on drive let's put it on reverse and check out our rear camera as you can see we have the trajectory lines there really really nice very clear the camera is super really clear really nice the way that is uh excellent job by ram otherwise so let's go ahead and put this on drive and let's head out and go out for a drive now of course we got the hemi v8 underneath our foot here with 410 horsepower not a lot of horsepower considering this is about a 7200 pound weighing truck so it's quite heavy and we'll have my windows down a little bit because uh it is so dark guys in here so uh let's go ahead and do a quick u-turn here and see how our turning radius is considering this is a huge truck but obviously yeah it's got plenty of uh plenty of articulation to make a u-turn in this not, not as a tight parking space here but this uh, this parking lot here but really the really, uh love the way this feels this ram power wagon now of course you're sitting quite high so you get a two inch lift on this one here higher than a regular 2500 i have not driven the the uh, ford tremor package yet so i probably will do so because i see some of them on the lot right now i'm going to get my hands on one probably coming very soon so but driving this power wagon 
really awesome the way this feels just a big you know heavy duty macho truck as this kind of it's the theme of these trucks as they were originally kind of intended to be let's go ahead and go this way oh that heavy sounds nice might be a little bit of wind noise uh because i have the windows down but uh just getting a feel for this truck and see how this goes Oh, it feels nice this truck i mean it's uh, a little bit of that yeah it's got some body roll this is a big you know tall heavy truck but that's not why it's intended for <laughs> to, to do some truck like that this is meant to go off road which unfortunately i don't have to wait i don't have anywhere to put this off road and I, if, if even if i could i probably wouldn't like to make this dirty for for you know bar to four and you know all the so but a very nice truck it feels nice i mean refined even though it's big uh the suspension does not feel uh, too bouncy as of yet. Usually you can tell right away. Oh, I really like the way this feels. Really, really nice. I'm gonna wait for this truck to go by. So you can see, guys, really nice interior. Obviously, this is the more base interior. Obviously, the other chair is gonna have the center console here, considering this has got, you know, just your base. So this is basically the bench seat on this one. So this is a little bit different truck than before, than the ones I've driven before. More of your base uh, ramp truck. So let's go ahead and go. And let's give it some gas here. Wow, well, she moves. Let's put up the windows. It is quite windy outside and also the wind is gonna be pretty bad. A lot of buffeting. So wow, this thing does get up to speed pretty nice. This semi, this four point uh, this this uh this semi V8 has plenty of power. Wow, I'm impressed. Obviously she feels heavy, she feels big, but obviously she still feels it feels nice. Uh, the ride is quite nice considering this got obviously it's got the built-in shocks, so they're gonna they're not gonna feel as bouncy as some regular off-road shocks. This is the obviously ram and building work than the suspension they'll have to of course this is basically at its best off-road but here on road it still doesn't feel bad the brakes feel really nice and strong at the beginning nice bite uh where is this lady going because man some of these people sometimes don't know how to drive here in florida but i you can see guys just a typical interior of this ram everything's right every fingertips the volume here i didn't mention before but this uh this base ram has a six speaker stereo this has got no uh after more this has got no bose you can get a seven they can get a nine speaker bose or a 17 speaker megan olsen system or Hummer car system excuse me if i'm correct on this one's uh, this is gonna use your base six speaker stereo being just the base models here so we got heated seats of course we got heated and uh cool seats as well no, excuse me we got heated seats heated steering wheel as well but other than that this is basically as base as you come according to power wagons uh, but it's not a, not a bad truck overall. I mean, if you like all the other the fancy stuff, the, the sunroof and all that, you're gonna step up to a higher level uh, power wagon. So, I think the power wagon is basically its own kind of unique uh, trim. Obviously, there's different levels of trim you can get for the interior. But let's go ahead, guys, and give a little push to this. And maybe in. That shit goes really nice. Wow, I'm impressed with the power. Now over here, the road is a little more bumpy, and you can tell the suspension is a little more bouncy. And of course, this is intimidating because the truck is big, especially with these big mirrors. My God, this is a big truck. Uh, so this does it does feel nice. Obviously, the mirror mirrors got decent views. Obviously, it's, it's kind of darkish, but you can definitely I'll definitely get that part that uh, electric mirror which gives you the camera vision which is much much better than the regular one here but this truck feels nice i mean it is bouncy but it's got plenty of power i was shocked that this is you know it's a heavy truck but it's still got plenty of power now coming here we got some cones i don't want to knock them down and this is a little oh man this is a little bit of a this is this is a big truck for this road considering there's also some construction going on uh, here we got a fire truck coming by yeah you can do it does feel intimidating driving such a big truck but it rides nice it's very nice we're doing about 60 miles an hour there is no tire noise at all barely some wind noise very i mean i'm so I'm shocked this thing is as quiet as it is considering we're riding on some pretty pretty aggressive off-road tires this wranglers this could wrangler uh thread tracks are really nice and pretty quiet to be honest Oh, this thing feels nice. I'm, I'm shocked how good this truck feels. It feels very refined. Wow. And the brakes, 
yeah, the brakes don't have that initial power of, of say, the F two fifties. It seems that the pads don't have that in more initial grip and more progressive power as you push them more. But it's not that bad. They give you some pretty decent confidence. All right, let's go ahead and give it a little bit of push on this Hemi engine. Man, she goes nicely. Very nice power. Wow, this Hemi is impressive. Very impressive engine. <laughs> Plenty of power. Wow, very shock. Obviously, the gas mileage is going to be pretty sucky. You're probably going to be in the 11 to 13 mile range in the city if you're lucky. <laughs> I guess so. But uh, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel underpowered by any means. Obviously, if you're going to tow and carry a lot of heavy equipment, you're definitely going to feel the, the weight difference. Of course, Ram does not offer this with the. Uh, with their diesel engine obviously it would be nice if they did but obviously what i heard is that they'll be too heavy for the suspension the way it is they'll have to redo the truck uh, but it does feel perfect the way it is to be honest now running here on the regular roads i mean it's it rides really nice it's pretty pretty comfortable to be honest uh just the suspension is a little jittery uh but it's 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 right in the middle between you know being jittery and and it's got a nice supple ride especially on you know regular roads now of course florida roads are not the best but this is still riding really nice very comfortable ride uh the cabin is pretty fairly quiet and of course this is the capabilities of this power wagon off going off-road uh, unfortunately i don't have the capability here at this moment but hopefully one of these days we'll take one of these either whether it's a raptor or a tremor or one of these power wagons off-road and give it a true off-road test but uh, let me know what you guys think so if you guys enjoy this type of contact i appreciate you guys subscribing uh we're on our way to 1000 subscribers on the spanish on, excuse me on the english channel on peter's auto vlog uh, the Spanish channel uh, is called Pedro La Maneja or Pedro Drives It has already reached a thousand. Thank you to all that have subscribed to that channel. But uh, let me know, guys. Let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, this is a super cool truck. It feels awesome. I wish we had a sunroof to give you a little more lighting considering the, the dark tint in this truck. But this thing feels awesome. And I really love this the way this, this looks. This is kind of a macho, you know, big truck, heavy duty. You know, it's a very, uh, you know, very, uh, I don't know, attention and getting truck especially in this white with the black uh, the stripes and the, the big lettering this is definitely a truck that drives attention and that was definitely the kind of the theme of, of when dodge used to do it back in the days now ram obviously ram still does a great job with this heavy duty truck and a lot of capability and this kind of unique truck is obviously you know a locking or a, a disconnecting sway bar you know with the lockers front and rear it's a very unique it's i think it's the only truck that offers this All right, we got a green light and let's go now, I don't have a ton of gas, so I gotta save some for the Spanish review. But uh, very, very healthy power plant from this Zebby V8. Plenty of power, plenty of torque. Doesn't feel, you know, if I just give it a little bit of flooring, the transmission is very smooth. The CF is really very smooth and it shifts. Excellent the way this truck feels. Feels very refined. I love the sound of the V8. And coming up to speed on a smooth road, we're going almost 65. Feels really, really nice. I really excellent excellent job that Ram did with this uh this power wagon. Really nice. So let me know guys what you think about this Ram power wagon. If you have one, let me know if you're really enjoying the off-road capabilities of this thing. Now next to uh drive, I'm gonna get behind the wheel of a 4250 tremor. Kind of give you the way it feels on off on road as well. But I really love this. This is an awesome truck. I love the way it feels, very refined, not much wind noise at all. Um, and you know, if, of course, you know, if you're gonna take this off road into the mountains and stuff like that, I'm sure this has got lots of capability, especially in a heavy duty truck like this. So, let me know what you guys think of this power wagon. Let me know in the comments if you own one, if you like it. Um, really, really, you know, unique product that Ram offer is offering, and I really love it. Now, of course, as, as I mentioned, this is slightly used, guys, with about 7,500 miles. Uh, Barto Ford, where I got this from, and they're asking just under sixty-six thousand dollars. As I mentioned, the base price for this ones are around sixty-four thousand for this uh, power wagons. And let's go ahead and put the reverse case again, just to give you a bit of a reverse camera. So as you can see, there's the track line. It's really easy and really easy to pull back. And uh, but there we go. Let's put this back in back in park. Twenty twenty two ram power wagon really awesome truck now of course this has been a little more basic not as equipped but love the way it drives love the way it looks this just looks fantastic really much a little more better than the ford f250 um in my opinion but this is still an excellent truck and man this thing just can't wait to get behind the wheel of any other ram truck for 2023 so all right guys thanks so much for watching i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this review of this power wagon have a fantastic day and we'll see you on the next video take care bye bye